Hey everybody, I'm George Ross with Last Chance Archery. It's time for a how to do it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use a, the square up squaring tool to make sure your broadheads and your knocks are all beautifully straight and concentric with your shaft. This thing is probably the most valuable tool in your bow hunting arsenal when you're tuning up your bow, making sure your broadheads and field tips flying in the same hole. And what it does, it's got ball bearings on here. It has a diamond hone so that you can square the end of the shaft where you put your broadhead and you can square the end that you put your knock in too. That's just as important. And with these two thumb screws right here, you can take the hone off and use it as an arrow spinner. So you can actually spin your arrow with it as well. So I'm gonna go through kind of a, a use scenario here so that you can see how this thing is used and what it will do for you. What you'll do when you're getting ready to square a broadhead, now just a little bit of info about this. What you're gonna be squaring is whatever it is that's touching the broad head or the knock. So if you're gonna have an exposed insert like this outsert that I've got here, you'll square the end of that. You don't have to square the shaft and the insert. If you're using a hit insert that's inside the shaft and the end of the shaft material itself is touching the back of the broad head, you wanna make sure the shaft is square and your knocks, when they go inside the back of the shaft, you'll want to make sure that the back of the shaft is also square, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing that you do is get yourself a black marker or a silver marker, depending on what color your inserts are, and just color it in, and I use that to make sure that the surface is perfectly square. I just run it in the squaring tool until that whole surface is silver and it lets me know that it's perfectly square once I've rubbed off all the marker. And that'll work for both ends of the shaft. So I just lay this in here and I'll just put a little forward pressure on it and kind of hold it down against the wheels and then just rotate and then I look and that's got all of it on there, right? And uh, if you color the end of the shaft, you know, and uh, rub that off, you'll be able to see whether if that insert is straight or not, or the face of the insert is straight. So before we film this, I uh, just did a quick little test to see if that insert was square. And uh, if you look right here, you can see that it wasn't square. When I did just the first little move, it only took off just that little bit that you can see in silver right there. So that shaft actually needed a good squaring to make sure that the broad head is straight. So this is an example of a shaft with a hit insert. You've just got the raw shaft there. So you'll do the same thing. The end of the shaft is silver, so I'll use a black marker and I'll just color that in and then lay it in the tool here and just give it some revolutions there and then check, see if all, oh, there's still a little bit of black on one side. See, even that shaft wasn't perfectly square. And a little bit more and that shaft is perfectly square. So now that's ready to go and I can screw a broadhead right inside there and the broadhead will line up just beautifully straight on the shaft. Then I can put my broadhead in and then lay it in the spinner like this and then I can just give it a spin and I can watch my knock here and see whether if the knock looks like it's spinning straight and I can watch the point to see if the point is spinning straight as well. So, very simple little tool, the square up from Last Chance Archery. Oh, one more thing, it also has some mounting holes. So if you're sick of looking for tools every time you wanna do a job, if you're in a hectic pro shop like I'm in right now, 
Last Chance Archer's got some mounting bolts. So you can mount this baby to the workbench so it'll always be there and you won't have to hunt for it. You can bet that this sucker will be mounted to my workbench as soon as we get done filming this so it doesn't go away. All right, so square up tool. You can get this today at lastchancearchery.com and it'll make your broadhead tuning and getting your broadheads and field tips in, in the same hole. It'll make all of that a snap because you're not dealing with crooked knocks or crooked broadheads. And that's usually what the problem ends up being once you have your bow all tuned and everything is hidden except your broadheads diverge from your field tips at longer distances. Square up tool from lastchanceharchery.com. Go over there and get it today.